Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, I would like to thank everyone who uh, followed my channel recently and thanks for the previous loyal uh, followers that have been sticking around for uh, quite a while now. In today's video, I actually wanted to walk you through the uh, my website, uh, the clinicalpharmacycourses.com uh, website. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to, uh, to make it easier for you to hop on and uh, check it out. So um, I've moved all the clinical pharmacy courses to the website uh, in, to be in one place. Uh, so basically, this is how it looks like. It's uh, uh, managed by uh, Pharma Academy Canada. And uh, under the courses tab, you'll see multiple courses. The first one in the clinical pharmacy course and then the pharmacy OSCE training. These, um, these two courses are active right now and are accepting students. The other courses will be available soon. Um, the team is working hard to uh, uh, finish the, uh, the question bank and uh, have it ready for the students. I know you've been waiting for that too. So yeah, uh, we've had so many students in the last year and year and a half uh, in the clinical pharmacy course. Basically, we've exceeded 17,000 students and 15,000 classes. Um, but yeah, I wanted to, let's click on the clinical pharmacy course here. I wanted to show you uh, how it looks like um, there there will be a course curriculum on the uh, front page and then this is basically how the uh, course content looks like so you will learn about the foundations of clinical pharmacy first um, that's uh, a big module and then uh, you will have quizzes after some of the modules here and then you'll learn about applied therapeutics one uh, followed by applied therapeutics two and then apply therapeutics three and none of these are actually um, basic learning you are actually learning clinical uh, pharmacy education so uh, you're learning how to practice in these areas and um, how to um, uh, what, what are the guidelines of treatment how to make recommendations to the doctors in any of these areas so it's a very extensive training and then you learn about therapeutic drug monitoring and we pick uh, three main medications that you will face in um, practice vancomycin aminoglycosides and phenytoin uh, and after that you'll enter the virtual uh, medical rounds uh, there's a training video followed by the residency training so you have uh, multiple cases in the residency program uh, that follows um, Sorry, that comes right out, uh, before the drug information service training and you have extensive drug information services training under uh, this uh, module. And uh, last but not least, you'll uh, enter a therapeutic drug monitoring training. All of these are residency training and uh, you'll finish up with an infectious diseases residency training. And uh, after that, you'll learn about the clinical pharmacist interview um, in a training program uh, composed of two different uh, modules. So this is very important if you're planning to apply for interviews in the future, pl planning to apply for a clinical pharmacist position and get interviewed for it. You need to know how these interviews are conducted and what to expect from them. So this is um, basically the uh, uh, clinical pharmacy course uh, on the website. And then uh, let me show you the OSCE training course as well. So I still have the OSCE training on the YouTube channel, uh, but it's better to join it here because this one will be most up to date and will have more cases. Uh, let me scroll down here. So you'll learn a little bit about the OSCE exam first, how to prepare for it. And then you have cases about OTC counseling, uh, failing the pharmacy OSCE. There's a, a case here about a student failing the OSCE. Uh, and what to avoid, uh, fever case, insomnia case, uh, nausea case, the angry patient case, uh, that's an important one, an ear problem uh, case, diaper rash case, the doctor's station case, and another OTC counseling case here, and then the food disorders case. And we are uploading uh, about five or six more cases soon, and we'll keep uploading more cases for students in the future. Uh, the more you practice, the better uh, you become and the more confident you become at the exam. So once you enter the exam, you don't have to, uh, you're not worried about anything. You already practiced a lot. And all of these cases are actually true cases. And you, you'll hear a buzzer. You'll uh, hear the student talking. You'll hear the uh, actor uh, talking and uh, reacting. So you'll learn a lot of tips. And of course, I 
as I uh, always tell you, um, I have uh, added the uh, the red flags in each and every one of these cases. That's something that most people don't teach you, but I, I teach my students here. And that's why my course is one of the most popular and cheapest in, in the market. So um, the, the gift I'm bringing you today is that um, I have dropped uh, the price for the OSCE training to $59 only. And uh, the same price will apply for the clinical pharmacy training and only for uh my followers so these prices are only for the followers if you click the link in description and join the course uh for anyone else it's still 199 dollars so make sure to follow the channel so that you can get this discount the, the discount is only for a few um maybe days maybe weeks um i'm not sure yet i'm gonna have a discussion with my team here but for now i'll keep it for a few days and uh we expect a lot of you to hop on the uh, the website and uh, and start learning now. If you're uh, if you're about to take the exams, any of these uh, exams, or, or or if you're about to um, interview for a clinical pharmacist uh, position, uh, go ahead, um, click the link in the description www.clinicalpharmacycourses.com, and uh, it will take you to the website. Uh, and I will know that you came from YouTube, so. Uh, I will know that you are a follower and uh, you will uh, um, automatically qualify for the uh, discounted price. I found this more helpful than giving you a discounted code because the codes expire after a while and then the students will be calling me and saying, hey, the, uh, the code expired and now I have to pay the full amount. So this is easier uh, coming from YouTube as a, a follower and then joining the course with the discounted code. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and all the best with your exams. Have a great day.